Hey guys, it's Maddie from Let's Eat Plants and today we are making a super easy and healthy sesame noodle. So for today's noodle, we are going to need some vegetables. I'm just using some mushrooms, some snow peas, two bell peppers, a head of broccoli, one onion and two shallots, garlic and some ginger. And for noodles, I'm using this purple sweet potato vermicelli, which is only one ingredient, purple sweet potato starch. But feel free to use any noodles you like or any you have at home already. I will link some whole food plant-based noodles in the description box down below you can check out as well. So first thing we're going to do is just give a quick wash to all of our veggies, as well as boil a pot of water for the noodles. Now these vermicelli take about 10 minutes to cook, so I'm just going to let them cook while I prep the vegetables. So first I'm just going to chop the onion, shallot, and garlic. Now of course if you don't have shallots, go ahead and just use extra onion. If you want to use more garlic, feel free to do that as well. And I'm just using about a one inch piece of ginger and I like to have it grated so that there are no large chunks in my stir fry. But of course if you want to just chop it finely with a knife, that totally works as well. And now we're just gonna set those aside while we chop the rest of the veggies. And you're just gonna wanna chop each of the remaining vegetables into approximately bite-sized pieces, kind of whatever size you like for a stir fry. And once your noodles are near to being finished, go ahead and give them a quick check. You can do that by taking out one noodle and giving it a taste. And if it is still a little al dente, let it cook longer. But if they are ready, go ahead and drain them. And I like to plunge them right away into a cold water bath to stop them from cooking any further. And then of course, just drain them again after a couple minutes. Then in a pan with medium high heat, we're just going to saute the onion, garlic, shallot, and ginger. And I'm just sauteing them in a little bit of vegetable broth instead of oil. Now just let those cook down for a couple minutes before adding in your broccoli and bell pepper. And let those cook down for a couple more minutes before adding in the mushrooms. And then finally, after one or two more minutes, add in your snow peas. Now while your stir fry is cooking, we can go ahead and make the sauce. I am just grating a couple cloves of garlic. Again, feel free to chop finely with a knife instead. I just prefer the grated texture for a dressing. And now a very important ingredient, I'm using this sesame paste, which is different from tahini because these sesame seeds have been roasted before making the paste. So it has a bit of a different flavor from tahini. It's actually a lot closer to even peanut butter, I would say, than it is to tahini. So this is going to be the base of our sauce. But if you don't have this at home, you could substitute with like a natural peanut only peanut butter. So I'm using about a quarter cup of the sesame paste as well as two tablespoons of tamari, or you can also use soy sauce, one tablespoon of rice vinegar, one tablespoon of maple syrup, and just go ahead and whisk those, or you can also use a blender instead. I think that would have been a little bit easier. And to thin it out a bit, we are just going to add three tablespoons of water. Now I'm adding a little bit of lime juice, which I just have the frozen lime juice cubes here. So after microwaving, I am adding two tablespoons of the lime juice, but if you don't have any limes handy, you can just add in an extra tablespoon of rice vinegar. And of course, I will leave the full recipe in the description box below for you guys as well. So now once our veggies are ready, we are going to plate everything up. Of course, you can add the noodles and sauce directly to your pan of veggies, but my pan wasn't quite big enough and I didn't think everything would fit, so I went ahead and kept it separate. So now just go ahead and add your veggies and noodles all together, and we're gonna drizzle a little bit of this sauce. Feel free to use as much as you like and just toss everything together. And we are going to top this all off with a little bit of green onion and some coriander if you so desire. Such a simple, quick, and easy meal to make. This will make probably about four servings. And if you don't eat it all right away, of course it makes lovely leftovers. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like down below. And of course, let's eat plants, and I will see you guys next time.